In this video, I'm going to teach you how to apply a grunge textured vignette or border or just overall film across your video in Premiere Pro. So to begin, you can go to any stock footage website and search something like grunge texture or paper texture. Here's a couple examples, and then you want to drag them into your clip or project on Premiere Pro. So if you drag this onto a layer on top of your other layers, it should show up like this. Now, depending on the size of it, then you can go to the Effect Controls panel and you can lower the scale, like so. So this one is a large vertical image. You can adjust the scale until it fits. You can also adjust the rotation of it. If you want to change the orientation of it or find the most interesting portion of the texture that you want to use. So in this case, we have something like this, and then you want to play around with blending modes. So, if you go to the Blending Mode section, you can do things like Darken. This will only make the darker portions appear underneath. That's why sometimes it's nice to have a sky in the image, because it takes on the texture really well. Or you can do something like Multiply, or you can even do something like Lighten or Screen. This will only show the lighter parts. Now, so far, this doesn't look so great, because it's pretty dark. Basically covering up everything in the image, it's a little too strong. You can also adjust the opacity in that case, so instead of 100%, you could just make it simply something like 25%, and that's a lot more acceptable, it doesn't overpower the image. You can also consider changing the color, so a lot of times things won't be black and white. They'll have their own color. So in this case, you can go to the Lumetri Color section, you can go to the Basic Correction tab, and you can play around with the saturation, so you can totally desaturate the image. So now it's just still got that grunge texture, but it's no longer got the blue color. You can also play around with the contrast and exposure. So if you're working on a setting like multiply, then the brighter you make the original image, let me just to show you the brighter you make the original image, then the less dark spots there will be to even stamp onto the video underneath. So you have these options to sort of adjust the strength of the texture by making it more gray or more white or more black. If you like, you can even go to the creative section and add your own tints on top if you want to add your own color texture for some reason. And if you ever double click on any of these, it'll reset them back to normal. You can also go to the tint effect in the effects panel, and that can do a similar idea. In the effect controls, you can just map the black to whatever color you want or the white to whatever color you want. And that will also add color if you, if you want color. Oftentimes this might look fine, black and white. But in the electric color panel, you know, you have these options. You also have the curves tool. So curves is really powerful for adjusting contrast and levels. So you can really fine tune your texture so that it works for you. And then you can put it on the blending mode that you think looks nice and the opacity that you think looks nice. So that's sort of like the strength now, whenever you drag a photo or JPEG file typically, it's just going to be 5 seconds by default, but you can drag this texture over as far as you want so you can extend the duration of this as far as you want, and you can just keep it on a video track layer above all of the rest of your project, and you can see when I press play this adds this grungy texture look however, one trick that I'll share here to sort of keep things a little more visible in your original clip is to add a mask onto this picture. So if I highlight our texture layer, go to the Opacity tab in the Effect Controls and click this Create Ellipse Mask button. It'll create a mask so that our texture will only show the mask within a certain area that we select. So I'll actually create this little circle on sort of the focal center of our image and I'll press Inverted so that now the mask will show everywhere except this little circle. So sort of showing on the edges as if it were a little vignette on the frame. Then I can just increase the mask feathering to be pretty large, so that it's a soft edge. It's not just like cutting. You can't see the circle anymore. So I'm really going to crank up the mask feather pretty far. And then I can also just play around with the mask expansion. I can expand the mask out further if I want less of the center to be textured and make it just push out more to the edges and or I can shrink the mask if I want to go the other way. So now what we've created is we still have a texture, but it's a lot more subtle. We just have this slight texture on the edges and we can still sort of see what's going on in the middle. And actually it, it, it adds a cool little interesting touch to the frame, but it also still draws our attention to the center of the frame. 
So it's a cool little stylistic touch that you can keep in your toolbox when editing your music videos or video projects, or just whatever creative idea you have. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out hundreds of more in the playlist on my channel. Let me know what you thought about this trick in the comments and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.